Hello, this is Left Turn Productions, and welcome back to Left Turn Recap, where I give you a rundown of the last week in NASCAR in two minutes or less. So, uh, remember last episode when I said that Gregson failed inspection? Well, the Junior Motorsports team appealed it, and they actually won the benefits of having Dale Jr. as your team owner. Gregson is now back in the running for being able to sweep the entire Dash for Cash. And that's either really cool or the end of times, depending on who you are. Now, on to the races. This weekend, they're racing at Dover. In my favorite. Trucks. Welcome to the Truck Series, where- Wait, there wasn't a truck race this weekend? This is awkward then. Xfinity, Austin Sendrick won the race, and Josh Berry, not Noah Gregson, won the Dash for Cash. And as it turns out, this is a very good weekend for Josh Berry because he also gets to go cup racing because he's filling in for Justin Haley in the Spire Motorsports car. Cup! <laughs> it's all Hendrick. They're even on the cover of this horribly dated magazine! Hendrick Motorsports put an absolute schlacking on the entire field. Their team swept the top four spots which is only the fourth time in NASCAR history that this happened, and two of them were in the 1950s. And leading this absolutely colossal domination was none other than Hendrick's lead driver, Kyle Larson. Nope, Alex Bowman. 48 winning at Dover. It's like nothing ever changed. And what this performance tells me is that Hendrick Motors... <coughs> Hendrick Motorsports is... <coughs> is back. That was hard to say. I miss when they were choking. 